Do I have something on my lip? Aloha! Welcome back to my world of fragrance. Today I am talking about my favorite topic in the world. One, fragrances, but also I'm talking about milky fragrances, which I absolutely love, I adore, and I have been on the hunt for the perfect milky fragrance forever. I'm not sure if I'm ever going to be satisfied, but these fragrances are the milkiest out there, the most uh, realistic with the milk fragrances that I have uh, tried. The milk note in perfumery isn't exactly a note. Like there is no milk in any single perfume. It's an accord. It's a construct that's made with uh, chemicals to simulate the feeling or the smell or the sense of a cup of milk. So I wanted to talk about different variations of milky fragrances. These are still not fragrances that you would just describe as milky. So many fragrances are described as milky, but these are fragrances where you basically can feel the milk on your tongue. So I hope that you enjoy this milky lineup. I'm going to start off with the first one, which is from Shabu. And this, I would say, is the milky fragrance pure player um, out of this list. This just absolutely smells, I was about to say tastes, because this is so realistic that it smells like a baby's bottle, like warm milk in a bottle or a uh, glass of warm milk right before going to bed. This is extremely, extremely comforting. But for me, this was so well done in the milk category that I, I can't wear this. Like, I, I, I really love milky fragrances, but that doesn't mean that I necessarily want to smell just like milk. I still want it to smell like perfume, if you understand what I mean. So for those of you who are looking for a pure milk cup of hot, sweet milk, um, definitely try and check out Chabot's Les Concentrés. And they have four milk fragrances. Not one, but four. So there are different variations. They have a vanilla one, etc. But this one is by far the most realistic. Um, milk fragrance. So <laughs> let me know what you think if you've tried this one because this was just like, yeah, that was very realistic. So next we have a fragrance in the milky yet musky category. So you have the milk and then you have this added flavor of a muskiness to make it more enticing. And the one that I've chosen for this is Milk Musk by Molten Brown. And I was so pleasantly surprised by the Molten Brown fragrances. They really are not that bad. Like I saw the packaging, wasn't really interested or anything, but then when I tried the fragrances, they actually really are not that bad. Milk Musk is exactly what the name says. This is uh, that sweet, comforting, inviting milk mixed with this almost cashmere nonchalant musk. Like this is a fragrance that is comforting, but is also very, I would say, stylish. Like stylish, classy, clean musk mixed with a warm milk that then turns out to be delicious, um, yet pretty mass appealing and also quite inviting. So this one is, I think, one that a lot of people would uh, would find very nice. So next we have a spicy milk, and this one is Jovoy's Remember Me. This one is another delicious, like all of these will kind of have this delicious gourmandish element, but this one is um, slightly more so perhaps because this is reminiscent of a lovely chai latte. This is sort of the feeling of sitting at a cafe and holding on to your hot beverage and feeling comforted by it. Um, this fragrance is definitely lectonic, but because of this black tea with spices, it has a cardamom that kind of is prominent and also this slight ginger that's characteristic of a chai latte. So um, this one is absolutely delicious as well. And if you're looking for that little bit uh, more of character, you do get this from the spices in Remember Me. Now moving on to a more popular, let's say, type of milky fragrance, the milky vanilla. And the one that I've chosen for this might come as a surprise, I'm not sure. I don't know how many people have tried this fragrance. It's a fairly new release, and this is from Paris Monte Carlo, and it is called Vanille de Tahiti. So this is a Tahitian vanilla 
that um, has been sweetened and rounded and just made delicious by ylang ylang and champaka. There are no uh, milky notes listed as far as I know, but this I definitely get a electronic vibe because that vanilla is so darn delicious. This has some creamy, um, like I'm telling you, my mouth is just <laughs> like slobbering just thinking about this fragrance because I absolutely definitely got an almost edible feeling from this vanilla due to it being so milky. So try out Vanille de Tahiti if you love a lovely, creamy, milky vanilla. Another very popular category of milky fragrances is the milky woody fragrance. And sandalwood is often described as creamy. Um, I'm not sure why that is though. Like there's something creamy about sandalwood um, that I can't exactly put my finger on, but it just becomes delicious in some sort of way. It's just like, imagine this wonderful light wood that's been polished to perfection and uh, throw that piece of wood into a glass of milk and you have Piano Santal, which is from L'Orchestre Parfum. This is a brand that I keep kind of like mentioning over and over again, but Piano Santal is the milkiest sandalwood that I have come across to date. This one was also, again, kind of similar to Les Concentrés by uh, Chabot, too milky for me, like on the verge of, I could not wear this fragrance for more than a couple of hours because I would just like take a bite out of my arm then like end up eating myself. This is so delicious. There's also a skin accord in this fragrance. I don't know how the skin accord came to be, um, or maybe this is just something interesting that they're throwing in there to make us, you know, more enticed by the fragrance. But in essence, this is a very delicious, milky, creamy sandalwood fragrance. There's also Santal Karma by, um, What's that brand called? Atelier Cologne is the brand. That one is also very, very similar to Piano Santal, but Piano Santal is just very nice in the way that it uh, it has some subtleties that makes it a little bit more interesting and complex and all of that, but definitely the most delicious sandalwood milky fragrance out there. In the milky wood category, we also have Palo Santo by Carner Barcelona. Milky wood just sounds weird to me, I don't know. But Palo Santo is milky gaiac wood with sandalwood as well and with rum and tonka bean and vanilla. And this is one that absolutely surprised me because by the name Palo Santo, I was thinking, you know, a smoky, uh, the like the burning Palo Santo essentially and I went to smell it and I was like whoa this is extremely lactonic so Palo Santo despite the name is a uh, very lactonic gourmand fragrance that still has that woody element definitely a woody milky fragrance so on to one of my personal favorites and by favorites I mean one of my favorite fragrances ever Lila Zex by Schwarzlose JF. How do you say JF in German? JF Schwarzlose from Berlin. And this is leather and milk. I mean, have you ever thought about this combo, leather and milk, really? This is a fragrance that is uh, delicious in its own right, but also has some character. And I'm always looking for character. I'm always looking for unique things that are out of the ordinary. Um, you know, some beautiful fragrances that stand out and that suit my personality and out of this range this is the one that probably suits my personality the most. This is not a harsh leather though, this is a supple leather that with this added milkiness and saffron adds a little bit of, uh, of interest, you know. There's also a slight smokiness to this fragrance. This was previously called Fetish, I believe, um, and now it's called Lira, so leather instead of fetish. So you kind of understand the vibe. Well, I don't know. In some ways, I feel like if this was in different packaging, let's say if this was in super girly packaging, you might not think of it as that much of a uh, fetish fragrance. It really does come down a lot to the marketing. So just smell this blindly and let me know if you get the same comforting, wonderful, yet edgy, characteristic uh, leatheriness of 
need a six. So lastly, I wanted to talk about perhaps a more unusual type of milky fragrance. So this is the milky fruity fragrance. And the one that I chose is Philosicus the EDP by Diptyque. Um, the EDT is not milky in the same way. And this reminds me of a wonderful, like that white sap that comes out of a ripe fig. So this is basically the most delicious fig that you could possibly have in your mouth. And I absolutely detect the lactonic qualities of this fragrance. This is a creamy, woody uh, fragrance that is simultaneously green and um, is not fruity in the way of, let's say, tropical fruit. This is still like realistically fruity and not, uh, I wouldn't call this actually sweet, maybe perhaps slightly sweet, but definitely not a very sweet fruity fragrance. So um, yeah, love Philosicus EDP. This is another one that I think is super cuddly. I like wearing this when I go to the movies, when I used to go to the movies, and uh, I don't know why just like it. So there you have it, my highly anticipated favorite milky fragrances. And no, I don't have all of these on the list because some of them are so milky and so delicious that I can't handle it. So maybe some of you can and uh, let me know if you have tried any of these or if you know of them already. And I will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe in the Milky Wood. <laughs>